Hi guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be my first of the year end for 2023. I figured since it was my choices, I would do not all of these are going to be from this year. Some of them are going to be, you know, maybe last year. I'm not sure as I'm looking at them. I can only see one product on here that came, um, it's not this year, but I think everything else m might be from this past, you know, this year. Okay, today we're just going to focus on lip products. So, I'm just going to start with lip liners. The first one we have on my list is Lunar Beauty. Um, I just happened to pick up, this is, oops, where is it? Hmm, Doodle. And let me swatch that for you. His formula is creamy. It stays put. Um, I don't, I mean, it's just a good lip liner. And this color, Doodle, goes with so, so much. Uh, but yes, this is this one's a good one. The next one, number two. Oh, I did it backwards. Lunar Beauty is my number one choice for the year. But I'll just go ahead and do it this way since I started. Uh, my second choice is Gwen Stefani's line Give. She's I just love her line. This right here is. Anaheim line and you know if you've been here for a while you guys know I love my reds so um, this is pretty much the same only this is kind of a harder pencil and I mean it goes on great but if you don't like the harder you know the ones that are a little bit more pointy I guess maybe you wouldn't like this but it's a really good one and the third and last one I didn't do a whole lot in these categories it's Charlotte Tilbury I mean yeah okay this one it's got to be pillow talk it has to be yeah it's pillow talk you guys you probably guessed that already there's the swatch right there she uh, She's awesome. I mean, very, very good. Basically, on all of these three, now this one's a super soft one, by the way, just like the Winter Beauty and not like Gwen Stefani's, but all of the ones that I picked are basically the same. They all perform well, um, and they do what you want them to do, and they're beautiful. So, those are my three picks for the best of 2000. 23. Next, we're going to go to the lipsticks. I'm just, yeah, this time I'm going to do it in the right order. My fourth is Lunar Beauty. Now, um, his packaging is just beautiful. Okay, now I can't. What am I doing? I'm supposed to push. Oh, I pushed this. <laughs> You would, <laughs> you have to push this right here. Oh, Lord. This is Sunday. I don't know what I'm doing, but I need to get a cough drop. Uh, this one I just picked at random. This is Icon. Because I don't have one single one from him that I don't like. So, this one is very light. This is it right there. That's Lunar Beauty. Soft creamy, stays put, doesn't bleed, just awesome. You can wear it with nudes and you can also wear it with a colorful look if you wanted to. My next on the list, this would be third for the year, is dun dun dun. We have Christy by Pat McGrath. Um, you know, at first I really, uh, Pat McGrath, I've never had one but I tried this and um, 
I was surprised. I really didn't expect that I was going to like it as much as I did. This is it right here. It's gorgeous, guys. Um, yeah, and it's it's a good lipstick. It, it doesn't dry out your lips, and that's the one thing that's most important to me. So, then my next pick, which would be number two for the year, Natasha Denona. I need a nude. This one, you know, she has several in that line, and this one is 23, and I think that's a P, Avertil. Again, I just randomly pulled this out because... I have loved everything that I've gotten from her. So, let me... Alright. Similar colors, but this right here is Natasha Denona. Just beautiful. Uh, same thing. Does not dry out your lips. Doesn't run in your, you know, wrinkles that I have. Doesn't, I mean, it just stays put. And I have, up until, you know, I started doing here... I could never really wear a lipstick because it just went everywhere. I never knew about these things. My number one pick for the year is Gwen Stefani's line, Give. I absolutely love this line. I did pick this particular uh, color on purpose. This one is called Original Recipe, which... I took that to mean that's the one she's worn for all these years. Now, it, it is a little bit, uh, let me see if I, it, I don't know if you're even going to be able to tell, but when you put it on, well, I, I just lied, I guess. This is the color, just I love it. I love reds. I love this, this lipstick, and I totally think she's rocking her, uh, cosmetics company i really can't wait to see what she does next year all right now we're going to move on to lip gloss i did not do liquid lips i do not use liquid lips like they just to me they just something just doesn't go right they're just not for me so the first one is the cover girl clean fresh yummy gloss um, I did this backwards again. Sorry, guys. Um, these, I, I just can't believe. I mean, this is a drugstore, and it's, it's just incredible. Um, what did I get this in? Uh, it doesn't say anywhere that I can see. Nope, I can't see it. But, it's got a large day foot stays on your lips makes you look real pretty you could just like stick this on and uh you know go go out um i've been keeping this and using this during the day love it love it love it uh, i don't know but i'm pretty sure there's other other you know types okay number two on my list this is something i just reviewed recently it's the Juicy Balm by Essence. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love this stuff. Um, it's so moisturizing. The one, the video I did with this, I wore it underneath my lipstick. And it, it stayed. It, it's so hydrating that it just, uh, your lips feel just wonderful. Okay. Then the next one, which would be number three, is Glossier. I know. If I don't know if any of my subscribers, if, if any of you have ever tried this, I was hesitant because, you know, it's not that cheap. And with all the hype, I thought, can it really be that good? It is that good. Your lips don't stick when you... Mwah, mwah, mwah. And, um, it's just, this is supposed to be clear, even though it shows up as pink. And when you put it on, it does look like pink. But it says clear. So, but, this is number three. Last one on this, for my top, is Rimmel. These consistently stay on my top lists of the year. Um, 
their drugstore but you guys let me give you a swatch if I can find a place this oh I just this is just uh, beautiful they, they have beautiful colors they're not expensive and where am I there it's this one right here I love them um, this one is in pop fizz pink um, I know they still sell them because I did see this one on someone else's you know what I must have now on this particular list I wanted to take two honorable mentions um, kimchi chic has a lip gloss that I keep up here on my table and it's cherry it smells like cherry it it tastes like cherry I want to eat it um, I don't know, even know why I didn't put it with the others I should have because I do love this so much um, I can't remember what I paid for it it doesn't seem to me that it was like astronomically expensive but it is more than drugstore so but that's one of them and the other article mention is I have most of Lady Gaga's House Labs lip oils. I have never worn, uh, worn an oil in my life. I bought one at first just to try it because I, if I'm, these are a little bit pricey. And um, this one is PhD. Oh, it's yeah, PhD Hybrid Lip Lip Oil in. I think it says primary. Okay, well, let's see. Now, this one is kind of hard to get out of the... It's got a kind of funky-looking doe foot. Let me see if I don't... It doesn't leave much of a color. Let me see if I... Uh, I don't think it will. Maybe. Uh, this right here is the lip oil. I love these. I have several different colors now that I will actually use. It, that is, I mean, anyone that knows me, which is not a lot of people, but <laughs> they know I don't use lip oils. Well, I do now because those are great. Lastly, we're on to lip pencils. Wait, I already did those. Okay. Could I be more confused? Um, just remember, these are just my opinions. And the way I chose to do it is, okay, this is what I kept here. And I used, you know, alternately all the time throughout the year. So, just because these are mine doesn't mean that anybody else is going to agree with me. And I can tell you, when I do my palettes, which is going to be the last one I do, I don't think anybody is going to agree with me on most of it. I think there's maybe two palettes in there that people will agree. The rest of it, I'm going to be on my own. Okay, guys, that is it. Um, by the way, I have Sigma on my eyes and I don't like it so please let me know if you guys have Sigma palettes and if you do what do you think because I have I'm the palette looks like I murdered it it's well, let's see if I've got it right here uh, this is the one I use enchanted and I literally this is the first time I've ever used it. It's been sitting in my box for quite quite a while. And, um, yeah, it looks like I've had this palette for about 15 years. And I just, mm. anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic week coming up. And stay tuned. I'm going to be, if I'm following what other people are doing, some are every other day with the top of the year, and some are doing it every day. So, maybe you guys can put it in the comments, 
what do you want me to do? I have them all done. I'm surprised. This is the most organized I've ever been in my entire life. So, anyway, let me know. And as always, wherever you are, I hope you are well. Take care. Have some fun. But stay safe. Watch your surroundings. You guys know. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.